Most of our car journeys these days are short, frustrating, traffic-filled darts across town. And most of our cars do that quite well. But just north of our border, there is the opportunity to experience the exact opposite. It's called overlanding, but you need a certain kind of vehicle. We were invited to crisscross Zambia and Botswana in the latest Range Rover Evoque and Land Rover Discovery. Dodging elephants, drinking coffee, and getting lost. Paddle! You, you, you went the wrong way. In Zambia, the facelifted Evoque was up first as a sort of appetizer. And given that it was the rainiest rainy season in 30 years, this felt like anything but its natural habitat. I was seriously impressed and surprised by the Evoque's capabilities. For a 4x4 using only electronic off-road systems and no low range, it didn't falter once as we splashed across Zambia. So the baby Range Rover, good for popping down to the shops, looking good on the school run and maybe heading over to the garden center to pick up some designer pot plants. So it's really nice to know that if you needed to, it'll take you to what feels like the ends of the earth. It was time to find the discoveries, but first we had to negotiate the rather wide Zambezi. Obviously, we're in the middle of nowhere, so there aren't any bridges. So we're going to try and cross the Zambezi on a ferry, which looks like it was put together by a couple of seven-year-olds with some Meccano sets, which is a little bit nerve-wracking. This is exactly like popping down to the shops. Almost virtually the same, really, as driving into a mall parking lot. There we go. I'm now on a ferry on the Zambezi in a Range Rover Evoque. If I'm honest, when I started this job, I didn't think I'd ever do something like this. This is a lot of fun. Then we ditched the Evokes and boarded a plane to nowhere. I am in a Land Rover. It's called the Discovery and it's built for discovering things, which I'm currently doing in Zambia. No, Botswana, Zambia was yesterday. We took a ferry to get between the two. What the hell is that noise? Oh, it's an aeroplane. <laughs> I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> Rude pilot. So there's no doubt that this new Land Rover Discovery 4 is very capable. It must be the most capable Discovery ever. But the same clever systems which make it capable also make it very vulnerable. I just get the feeling that you could fix an old Land Rover Defender with a Leatherman and a Spanner. And if you needed to fix one of these, you'd need a laptop and a satellite phone. Look at me driving through some mud. Terrible difficulty. Mud, more mud, sand, mud. Ah. <laughs> Shush, I know it's grass, stop beeping at me. I have a solution to all of this car's electronic problems, so if anyone at Land Rover is listening, here it is. It's called Africa Mode. 
just one button in the shape of Africa on the dash and you hit that and it switches off all the electronics and returns it to something like a Defender. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. It's hard to put into words how confident this car makes you feel when tackling the rough stuff. Take that, Africa. Bask in the magnificence of my luxurious capability. <laughs> Nearly missed the road there. I'm driving the new SD V6 and I must be honest, I don't know why you'd buy a petrol Land Rover. The fuel savings are massive and it's so quiet and it works so well with the gearbox. It's just such a seamless, comfortable drive. Diesel really has come a long way. The new Discovery is a little bit expensive. It's about 900,000 Rand by the time you fit it with things that you like. And that means that it's about the same price as a nice house. But I think this car makes a very good argument for buying one instead of a house, and I'll tell you why. The front seats are extremely comfortable. In fact, this is actually much nicer than my lounge at home. The rear folds completely flat and you can get a double bed in there. I've tested that at a music festival. And it's got a flat screen TV. Which house comes with that? You'd have to buy that extra if you bought a house. And aircon, you'd have to buy aircon extra. So just buy a Discovery. The Land Rover Discovery is the sort of car that can take you to the sort of place where you have to be escorted to your tent because there are hippos and hyenas around. Last night I had to look on a map to see where we are. I still don't know. At least there's coffee though. <laughs>